Hey, what's up everyone? It's Cade from Epi Tennis. Today we're going to be talking about how to customize your racket in my current setup. So there's lots of different ways to customize your racket. Um, some people like putting lead on it, some people like putting different string, doing hybrid stringing, um, you can put uh, putty in the butt, there's all different kind of ways, but I want to show you guys how I customize mine and how uh, I'll give you guys a couple tips on how you can customize yours. So, first off, I'm just going to start off with the racket I use. And yeah, so I use the Head Extreme Tour 2021. Um, I just recently switched to this, so if you guys want to see the video on why I switched to this racket, we'll leave that in the description. I'm coming from a Babolat Puro, but I'm not going to say why I switched because I did a whole video on that. But this is a great racket. I love it. I've been using it for about a month and a half, I believe, right now. And I got it customized with some lead tape in the hoop and in the handle. I'll get into that a little bit later. But to start from the basics, I have a Hydrozorb Pro uh, synthetic uh, replacement grip under my overgrip. Um, I'm used, I tested a leather grip but I felt that the maneuverability wasn't as good as I'd like, especially when I was playing on clay. It just felt a little, a little too heavy and the maneuverability wasn't great. And that's something that I really like about the Head Extreme Tour is I feel like it's pretty maneuverable. The next thing, I do use a dampener. I hate the dung sound uh, of, of not using a dampener. So for me, I gotta have a dampener in there. And I forgot to mention, I use Wilson Pro Overgrip as well. Uh, it's simple. Um, I shouldn't say I only use Wilson Pro Overgrip. I'm not too picky on the overgrip. If somebody just gives me a new overgrip, doesn't matter. I throw it on there, it feels good to me. So, strings. This is where things start to get a little bit more exciting. I use a Head Lynx Tour. Um, for the Head Extreme Tour, they actually suggest that you use Head Hawk. But since I was coming from a Babolat Pure Arrow, I used a, a Vocal Cyclone in that for a while, and I liked that feeling. And Vocal Cyclone is actually very similar to Head Link's Tour. So I wanted to have something similar to that string in my Head Extreme. So uh, Head Link's Tour actually feels better than Vocal Cyclone. Um, so that is a great fit in my racket. I haven't tested Head Hawk, which is what they suggested, but I'm sure it's great as well. Um, I have the Champagne color 16 gauge, and I also have the, the Silvery Gray color that's also 16 gauge. Uh, I just kind of put uh, the whatever color, however I'm feeling on whatever day it is. So that is the string. I also string at 51 pounds. Sometimes I'll string up a couple pounds, so maybe 52, 53, depending on how I'm feeling, but normally I string at 51 pounds. So that's the dampener and the string, and we've covered all the grip. So now let's talk about the lead tape, and this is where uh, the customizing really starts to begin, because everybody, can put a grip and a dampener and string. That's just kind of the basics. But the lead is really where the customizing starts. So, I actually have uh, a rack that I haven't customized yet or strung. It's brand new, this one. And stock form, the Head Extreme comes in at 305 on paper. Now, you can have some quality control issues um, and this one actually came in at 301, as you guys will see in the, the little video that we're showing right now. And the one that's all customized is 335. So I actually weighed all of the ones in stock and they kind of ranged from 301 up to 305. So it wasn't actually that bad for quality control. Um, I just had to add some more lead on some other ones. But all in all, really good. I just wanted to show the comparison of the two different ones. But Lead, I put lead about nine centimeters under the replacement grip on each side. So nine centimeters here, nine centimeters here. So that's making the racket more head light. Um, one thing I really like about this racket, I actually touched on this in the why I'm switching video, is I, 
I feel like the racket is a really good platform racket and I can kind of do whatever I want to it. So if I feel like I want to add more weight, I can slap on some more weight and it's, it's going to be easy for me to do that. With some rackets, it's difficult to do that because of their balance. But I feel like I have a lot of, uh, what's the word? Versatility with this racket. I can kind of put weight or take weight off wherever I want. So once again, I have nine centimeters of lead tape um, in the handle here and then also nine centimeters here on this side. So that makes the racket more head light, adding weight. But I also wanted to add some weight to the hoop because when I demoed the racket, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually didn't like it at all. Um, however, I did some more research and people said they loved this racket when they added lead to it in the handle and in the hoop. So I was like, you know what, let's give this a try. And uh, I put some lead at three and nine, so that's right here, three and nine. And three and nine adds stability to the racket. So if you're just looking for pure stability, which means like if you're hitting the middle of the strings and your racket is kind of wobbling a bit, add lead to the side, so three o'clock and nine o'clock, that will add stability. Um, it won't add a lot of weight, it'll just make it more stable. But if you're looking to add, uh, just pure weight to the racket, make it more head heavy, add up to the 12 o'clock region. That will give you the most power and add the most weight to the racket. So back to my racket, I have it at three and nine because um, I tested that and I really liked it. And then I was like, you know what? Let's add some more weight and see how that felt. So I actually added it to 12 o'clock. I didn't love it. So I took it off and I slapped it on at, uh, at the 10 and two area. Now, I really, really like this. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I have three and nine and 10 and two. So 10 and two is like a hybrid between three and nine and 12 o'clock. So you're getting that power aspect, but you're also getting some more weight too. So it's kind of a hybrid. So if you're looking for stability and you wanna add a little bit of weight, then I would go to the 10 and two. And then if you wanna do what I did, you can even add nine and three to even get more stability. One thing that I also tried with the lead was add it to the, the throat or the neck right in here. And if you add weight in there, that's just gonna bump up the static weight. It's not gonna change the properties really of the racket. Um, it's just gonna make it way more in your hands. And I did do that originally but uh, I didn't really like it, so I took that out. And yeah, so once again, let's do a little recap. I have Hydrozor Pro Grip, Wilson Overgrip, nine centimeters of lead on each side. I string with Headlinks Tor, 16 gauge, 51 pounds. I use a dampener. I have lead at three and nine and 10 and two. Oh, and I forgot to mention, at three and nine, it's about four and a half centimeters on each side. And then at 10 and two, it's once again, nine centimeters. So that is it. If you guys have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer any of those questions for you guys because I know customizing can be a little bit difficult, but adding lead is tricky too. So. Let us know in the comments. If you have any questions at all, I'm happy to answer them. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. And if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.